Hey guys, it's Demon BK, and today I'm bringing you some Advanced Warfare on the PC. The gameplay you're going to watch here is me using the ARX 160 hole puncher. We're playing on the map Instinct, and we're playing some Hardpoint, which is quite rare for my channel, and just quite rare in general for Advanced Warfare on the PC, as it's a real hard time to get into a game of Hardpoint, or any game mode for that. Uh, you have to hang around for about 20 minutes usually to get into a game, uh, not at the peak times as such, because there's only around about 1,000 people playing this game on average now, so it's... Uh, a hard time to get into any game mode so hopefully you enjoy this guys and without any further ado let's get into the video so in this video I thought I'd go over Advanced Warfare and what I really really think about the game give you an honest opinion from a PC player that's put a lot of time into the game so uh, if you're on the fence and you're deciding whether should you buy this game or not for the PC maybe this is the first time you're ever going to try Call of Duty on the PC and you're on the fence and you're not too sure if you want to jump and, and do that uh, listen to what I have to say and then you can make a decision upon that so first we're going to start off with crashes. This game crashes probably more than any other game I've ever played on the PC. It's hideous. It's it's really bad and I'm not the only person to have this. A lot of people don't seem to get the crashes but a lot of people seem to. It's sort of even playing field there. If you go into the Advanced Warfare forums on Steam, you'll see a lot of people complaining about it and I don't think they're really ever going to fix it. It's been like it since day one, especially for me. And the last patch actually on PC made it a hell of a lot worse. It just seems to be crashing a lot to do with your GPU and stuff which is is a bit weird because I didn't have it before it doesn't happen with any other game it literally just happens on advanced warfare I have a GTX 780 Ti that's fine it should not have any issues with this game whatsoever uh, but it does it just crashes out and it crashes out to the point where if it crashes I have to hard reset my PC because um, it won't launch any other game so if it even crashes on you and you think oh fuck it I can't be asked with advanced warfare now I'll jump onto another game it won't even launch the other game because it it crashes your adapter um, um, so it's just annoying to hell. Uh, there's not much you can really do about it other than restart your PC and then gamble uh, trying to play the game. So yeah, it crashes like crazy. They don't really seem to be fixing it. And I, I don't see any uh, sign of them even um, commenting on it at the moment. Uh, the next thing with crashes, and this is sort of in bundled with the crashes, is the field of view reset. This happens way too often, pretty much every third game or so. You'll be playing at your, your field of view that you want. I play at 90 field of view that you can edit in game. And then at random, it will go back down to 65, which is the default console field of view. And if you are playing at 90 and you jump down to 65, oh my god, it's like instant nausea. It's it's terrible. It's really bad. And that's not harping on the, the console guys for you playing at 65. That's because I'm sitting a couple of feet away from my monitor. I'm, I'm looking right at my, my monitor face to face. So yeah, it's horrible to play at that field of view. And when you constantly have to change it it just slows down the gameplay you've got to go into your settings you've got to change it um, you probably take a few deaths while you're changing it in mid game if you're you're spawning at stupid locations which is likely to happen in advanced warfare because the spawns at times are just terrible so yeah the the crashes and the field of view reset they, there's no sign of it being fixed the fov bug um, has actually been around since launch and they've never addressed it so yeah it looks like it's going to be in there for the rest of the game's life cycle so next up we're going to talk about hackers and I have to say this game is probably the most hacked game on the PC today at the moment and I didn't think you could get any worse than an Infinity War game on the PC because they're renowned for hackers. Uh, little pieces of shit come out to play out of the woodwork every time an Infinity War game drops and they hack the hell out of the game. Uh, it just ruins the experience for everyone and what makes it even worse is there's no sign of them actually cleaning up the, the hackers themselves. I, for one, have made videos on hackers constantly over the last few weeks and sending them over. Even, I think my first video was two months ago on this one player called Storms. And I've been sending them over to uh, their Twitter account at Sledgehammer and Activision Assist and uh, making them private videos, make them unlisted and, and send them over there. And they view it and they literally say report in game every single time. Just report in game, report to Steam. And it doesn't go anywhere. We all know this. There's a forum post actually on the Advanced Warfare Steam pages. And there's one on this one player called Storms and people are complaining and saying, look, we're all going to report in. We're all band together. We'll at least get 50 to 60 uh, reports on this game, on this guy in game. And nothing comes from it nothing and it's been like it for about two months and I don't know what it is but I think it's getting worse uh, as the game gets older or because my score per minute my skill based matchmaking is matching me with hackers because my score per minute is probably getting on level with the, the, the garbage of the community in terms of score per minute for the hackers because obviously they're going to have a higher score per minute they don't care if they're, they're having to play the same level people uh, because they're just hacking they literally hold their mouse down and it, it kills everyone so 
yeah, uh, I'll have some footage actually on screen that will show this this player uh, going through, and I'll even put the tweets and timestamps and stuff so you can see how long I've been reporting this guy and how long they've literally ignored it and not done anything for it. They acknowledge it on Twitter. I've had the, literally the last person uh, from Activision Assist actually said thank you for the footage, uh, but then I think he goes on to say reporting game. So. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. He said he was going to pass it on and maybe get something done with his kid. But as it stands, uh, my money on DLC and the game has been robbed from me. I cannot play this game in the state it is. The hackers are rife there everywhere. And it just seems like this one kid called Storms just seems to get away with it constantly. So, yeah, hackers, this game is full of them. Worse than Infinity War games. What I don't get is why they can't do what Treyarch done. Treyarch games, Black Ops 2, I probably only ever saw maybe five or six hackers in the whole lifetime of that game which is absolutely crazy uh, what I don't get is from each game from each studio why the security differs so much it should be the same that's a base fundamental that should not change year to year it should only get better it should not be worse like it, I don't get it it's the same like with the FOV stuff that um, ghosts didn't have an FOV uh, setting on launch but Black Ops 2 had one from the launch and then they had to add it into ghost months later why do you take away things that uh, are really needed on PC and then add it at a later date. Why Why can't it just be the same across the board? There should be a base thing. Like We all know the engine's the same every fucking year. Um, so why don't they make the base security systems for the game the same every year? Don't just change it and make it worse. So yeah, hackers in this game, they're, they're running rife. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is map loadings and maps just generally crash out in this game and not to the point where it will crash your game but to the point where it will crash and it will be frozen for a few minutes and then it will kick you out to the lobby and then it will go through matchmaking so fast that it will throw you straight back into the game that you just crashed out of but it will load the map. So it's like a preload crash to get you in the map but then you start late and then the game's already developed someone's got a fucking warbird because they've made the score ridiculous within two seconds two flag caps and you've got a warbird it feels like and uh, yeah it's just annoying to hell what I don't get is why is it crashing if it can load the map afterwards I don't get it That's that happens with most of the DLC maps for me and a lot of other people have this issue and it happens with the tsunami map that just has been like it since launch that's probably like one of the worst maps ever made in Call of Duty for loading just buggy to hell and once you get in game uh, if you're if you're unlucky you'll get lag on that one map that took a while to load up for the rest of the game so it's just awful uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the EM1 the EM1 on PC is hideous it's literally like the worst thing they've ever done and I've been saying this for months and months and months but consoles and PC need different balances they cannot be the same you guys on the consoles use analog sticks on your pads and they have limited movement on PC it's a lot easier to aim uh, once you get used to the movement because grant it's a little bit more tough to to get an understanding on if you're you used to the pad but if you can use a mouse and you've got the aim uh, the in one sorry you, you're just gonna beast on people you don't even have to aim across the map uh, I've seen it on consoles where you don't really have to aim but on PC it's a lot worse it really really is it just needs separate balancing it cannot be the same it needs some sort of nerf to the hip fire because on PC like I said you, you don't even have to aim anywhere on PC if you if you get good and you've got a decent enough weapon and the EM1 just completely plays to that so yeah guys these are just a, a few thoughts behind the game this is the state of advanced warfare on the PC let me know in the comment section below do you have any of these issues ever happen to you anyway don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one later